All right, family, so here's everything that I'm going to be using today to make this uh, stuffed potatoes. I have two large potatoes right here, and these are going to be washed. I actually washed one of them, and I figured I would save the other one to do on camera to show you the uh, process that I go through to wash it. Um, also, I have here a quarter cup of diced um, green onions. I have two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I have my sour cream here. I'm going to be using half a cup of this sour cream. Then I have my corned beef hash here, which I probably only use half this can. Uh, so basically, uh, if you're going to be making it just for two people, you can actually buy the smaller can. But I'm going to use the cook this entire can because the other half I'm going to use for another recipe. Then this is the, uh, I'm using a cup of cheese or I may add a little more towards the end but anyway this is a cheese that I'm using a combination of cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese but feel free to use whatever cheeses you like and then the two seasonings I'm using are just black pepper and salt so right now we're going to go over to the sink and as I said I'm going to show you the process that I use to clean this potatoes you can see the difference so let's head over to the sink and then now also uh, preheat your oven to three, um, sorry, 400 degrees because your potatoes are going to need to cook at least 45 minutes to an hour or at least until they're soft, okay? So let's head over to the sink, get this potato scrub and then in the oven. Alright family, so Typically when I'm cleaning my fruits and vegetables, I always use this veggie wash. And I've mentioned this in um, several of my videos already. And I picked this up off of Amazon and I'll be sure to list this, the link to this in my description box if you're interested in it. And so now what I do is you can wet, just wet it first. And then I just give it a couple of squirts. And then now I use a scrub brush and then I just go in and then I just start to scrub. Okay, so with our potatoes nice and clean, so now I'm just going to take a knife and I'm just going to puncture some holes in random areas of our potatoes. And then I'm just going to pop these in the oven. And then as I said, let, let them bake anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour or until the um, is actually soft, all right? And so I'm going to pop these in the oven and then we're going to get started with cooking our corned beef hash. Okay, so I have my non-stick pan here heated up and so I'm just going to add the corned beef hash in here. Now this is going to cook until it's browned and has a nice little crispy texture to it. And now I'm not even going to season this. This is going to all get seasoned when I combine everything in one bowl. And then that's when I will go in and add my salt and pepper. So right now, just allow it to cook and do its thing. And so once it starts really getting into a... Um, really cooking. I'm going to check it and turn it over and then um, that's pretty much it. So I'll pop back in when it really gets going. And then also I have this on a uh, medium flame. Alright G-Squad, so these are done. Once you see that they're brown and start to form that crust on them, then that 
means that they're ready. So now I'm going to turn this off and allow these to cool down. Our potatoes are still baking, which is good because you want to cook this in advance to allow it to cool off before you actually continue on and add them to your, um, you know, to your, to the rest of the um, mixture, okay? So now, like I said, these are done. I'm going to let them sit and cool off, and then once the potatoes are done, we'll continue on. All right, family, I just removed the potatoes from the oven. They're finally um, soft in the middle. So these are going to sit and cool off for a few minutes before I cut them and um, begin to uh, put our mixture, our filling together. So I'll pop back in when these are ready to be cut. Okay, so now they're slightly cool. So now I'm just going to cut them and scoop out the middle. So now if you want, you can cut it in half and then use both sides. But I'm going to maybe like cut the top part off like so. These are still really super hot. So maybe I should get a paper towel to handle this better. I'm not trying to burn myself. Just gonna cut around the top part like this. going to go in and scoop out the center and I have my bowl right here to add it in and you want to make sure you leave like a thin amount the scoop is close to the to the wall of the potatoes as possible So now, I'm going to go in and add my butter, get that in there, I want to start that melting right away.
now bring back in our potatoes Now I'm going to add the remainder of the cheese. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to actually add a baking sheet in this pan because I don't want this cheese to melt and start to burn. Paper in there. So now I'm going to pop these back in the oven and let the cheese melt for about 15, 20 minutes. All right, Sam, time to take our potatoes out. And that's how they look. Okay, so this is what
what they look like. So I'm going to now plate these and then we're going to wrap up this video. But yeah, those are potatoes. Alright, G-Squad. So here you have it. I paired it with some um, roasted uh, wing eggs that I uh, put cooked in the air fryer. And then of course the star of our show, our baked potato. Corned beef hash baked potato with cheese. All right, so family, as usual, Thank you so much for tuning in to the channel today to see what your girl is cooking up. If you try this recipe, always say let me know. Tag me on Instagram or also post it in our community tab. If you don't know what the community tab is, it's on the top line. Uh, it has uh, videos. Then it says um, um, community tab right next to it. And uh, yeah. So this is what it looks like. Let me take a fork. Okay, just go in. Okay, that's what it looks like. Nice and creamy and cheesy. Okay. And now if you like, you can also add some cream cheese on the top. But yeah, that's it. So family, I thank you again for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Until then, be well. Love you guys. Be blessed. And I will see you soon. Bye.